Welcome back to the Tomarosa. Well, the weather was finally cooperating, so we cut a couple more acres to put up some more loose hay. In an effort to make unloading the hay from the wagon a little bit more labor efficient, uh, we're going to try and rig up a boom on the tractor that will have our hay grapple uh, suspended from the end of it. This grapple is designed for lifting hay into a barn, but we're going to try repurposing it. I don't hear any cracking wood. We have our hay muffins. Now we're going to take the corral, take the top off, and make a hay cake out of it, and then put the top back on. We'll see how that goes. We managed to get the top off the corral shelter without killing ourselves. It was actually not too bad for two people to lift off, and we just put there. Now we're going to attempt to move the bottom part. Towards me a little bit. It's now time to attempt putting on the lid with the standard theme, as always, of not killing ourselves. Here we go. We got the lid on. I think it's going to be a great structure for storing hay. Uh, we have some left on the wagon here. There is still some space left in there, so I think we're going to pull the wagon up and uh, pitch the rest in by hand. Hey, 2019 is effectively done. So we put up probably about 10 tons. We'll probably buy a few tons of uh, organic alfalfa anyway, just to help supplement through the winter. We have the shelter logic full of hay, and we got our hay muffins, 
and we're gonna pick up one more load of hay on the wagon here and just stick it in the machine shed so it's protected and what we'll do is we'll use the hay off the wagon here to top off this and the muffins as they settle down a little bit uh, from compacting under their own weight. So thanks for watching our journey through Hay 2019. Uh, if you haven't yet, please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss future videos. And we'll see you next time on the Tomarosa.